Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, sorry I haven't been making videos lately. Um, the reason behind that is because I totaled the Silver RSX. Um, how that happened is I was driving to work. Um, it had rained the previous night and there was still water on the road. And it also rained that night as well, a little. And um, I was just driving to work on the access road. Uh, I felt the car kind of tug at some points, so I guess water was catching under it, and I don't think um, being lowered helped any. But what had happened is I felt water pull the car back, or the car just pulled back, and then the steering wheel jerked to the, to my, the left. And at that point, I tried to counter steer, and um, I guess I counter steered too hard and I slammed into a wall. Um, at first, I mean, the car started smoking, the radiator was busted, everything, but the engine was fine when I opened the hood. And it didn't look that bad at first until we towed it home, uh, took the fenders off, the hood off, and tried to see what I, what I had to work with. And I wanted to, I really wanted to fix it, but seeing that the frame was shifted all the way from the driver's side like all the way it was shifted way too way too far and um i just didn't think it was was gonna be the same car if you know what i mean like i feel like once car a car is wrecked it's never gonna be the same you're gonna have problem one problem after another that's how i feel so um I just decided to part it out, so that's what I've been doing this whole time. And um, after that car, I had gotten uh, what did I get? I got an EK hatch, a black one, and it was really, really clean. I should have made a video on it. I have pictures of it. I might include in the video. Um, it was really clean, had a B18 swap, uh, I forgot, I don't know too much about the engines, but it was a JDM swap, and it was clean, but it had its problems as well, um, so I got rid of, I traded that for a EK coupe with a D6, or D15 swap, um, it was a e it was originally an EX, so I had a swap from a, for a D15, the base model one. And then I just didn't like it. Uh, saw a post one day for this RSX that I'm in right now. Uh, saw it for $5,000 at a dealership. It was one of those little crappy dealerships, but I thought it was a good deal. So I thought I'd go check it out. Checked it out. Um, I liked it. Used the, sold the silver car. And then used that money for a down payment on this because I don't have the money in full. And I'm currently almost done paying it off. I like. I don't know I think about 500 bucks which I'm gonna pay off really really soon um, but yeah I guess I'll show you all the car now I'm inside of it it's really nice clean it has its problems uh, nothing major but it was five thousand dollars and I couldn't pass it up so here we go all right guys here's the car um, it's a 2005 Acura RSX type S how you see it now is almost exactly how I bought it, which I think was awesome for five thousand uh, dollars. The body's straight, nothing really that body-wise or engine-wise that made me want to not buy it. I mean, it is five thousand dollars, so I was expecting some problems, but um, yeah, I mean, the color was what mainly caught me. I think these are rare because I never really see the blaze orange RSX's um, and I thought that was also um, a good deal is the color also is what caught me um, I guess I'll go over some of the mods that came on the car when I got it I'll start with the exterior it has it has the HIDs um, fog lights which I never had on my other one I always wanted to put them in but never did which I love that um, 
the Honda emblem, which I also like. It looks original like it came on the car. It looks really, really good. I want to do the rear like that. The rear says Acura, but it came with that. Um, okay, so originally the car came with these orange, ugly, gaudy looking wheels. I think these are little eBay wheels, I think. Uh, STRs, I believe. Um, yeah, the rear says STR. So these are STRs and they're this ugly color. So what I've done so far since I've owned it is paint them gunmetal, which I think will look good for now. While I have it and I'm driving it around because I don't want to drive around with those ugly wheels. But yeah, I, I started on it recently and I just haven't finished. So I'm going to do that today. Um, what else? It has limo tint all around, which I'm sure it's very illegal in the front, but I like it. Um, oh, uh, okay, so I guess I'll go over suspension now. And what I found out is that when I lift it up at work, is that, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it has buddy club in one coil over here which was amazing. I, I've never had good quality coilovers like that. And uh, it has a Voodoo camber kit. Um, is what came on it. It had a, okay, I'll go over engine mods now. It had a D, it has DC headers and it had a HKS exhaust. The reason why I say had is because the exhaust literally flew off in the middle while I was driving. It just snapped off and I think it was the HKS high power because it had that huge muffler. Well, it just snapped off and flung out the car, flung out the back of the car and it cracked the bumper right here. So that's the story behind that. I just put the exhaust for my old car on. Um, good thing I, ha I still had that but yeah it cracked the bumper so but it doesn't really bother me because I plan on doing the a spec uh, rear lip kit so it'll cover that up um, yeah so I mean it has interior wise um, the interior is super clean and it's a little messy because I, I'm doing a lot of stuff to the car today so I got a lot of parts in here but here it is um, I kept the plastic on the floor because it I don't know it just makes it feel brand new to me I put the shift knob that's my old shift knob that's the steering wheel it came with it has 147,000 miles now yep super super clean just one little rip in the seat right here. But it doesn't really bother me. And yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was a great deal. Um, okay, so since I've had the car, what I have done is not, not much, but I just painted the wheel, well, started painting the wheels. And I put my A-spec side skirts on from my old car. And I had them painted recently and I just put them on. I think he color matched them really well. And it looks really, really, really good. You gotta kind of, yeah. It looks really good. Just need to get rid of that camber and kind of raise it a little. I also, I'm trying to sell these wheels. That's why I'm, part of the reason why I'm painting them. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to make an update video. I'm gonna start making a lot more videos on this car of the parts I'm gonna be installing on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I just don't wanna lose my subscribers. I don't want y'all to think I disappeared. I kinda have for a while and I apologize for that, but I'll be back working on this thing. I'll be making videos. Actually, I'll pop the hood for y'all. Show y'all how it looks under there.
I'll kind of give y'all a list right now of some parts that I want to make videos on and um, of how to put on. I mean, this is all first time for me too. So everything I'm, I'm putting on YouTube, making videos about, I'm learning with y'all as y'all are learning with me. So if y'all have any questions, uh, ask me. I try to reply to most of them. I think I, I've done a pretty good job at replying. I mean, but yeah, I'm not popular, so it's not that hard to reply, but um, I have a version 3 K Pro that I have ready to put in. I have also a turbo kit. It's a precision turbo. It has a, I have a Gretti blowout valve, uh, intercooler piping. I don't have the intercooler itself and I also need injectors and motor mounts so I mean I'll, I'll try and make a video um, I'm not gonna try I will make a video of how to install that stuff because I kind of want to learn myself instead of having someone do it for me but uh, yeah I mean I'll kind of explain to y'all right now how I got the turbo kit I mean I, I find it kind of funny and pretty cool at the same time so I told you I was parting out my my other RSX. Well, some guy messaged me. I have the crack the ad on Craigslist, and uh, he messaged me. He said, "Hey, do you still have the stock header and the stock downpipe?" I said, "Yes, I do." He said, "Would you be willing to trade a turbo kit for that head, that your stock header and your?" downpipe and he also wanted some other stuff here and there off the car i was like yeah i still got it he's like well would you want to trade i was like sure i said but i want to see it first so he actually legit came through came to my car took off the parts he needed i saw a turbo kit <clears throat> i have it at home and uh i mean it's used yeah but i i could have it rebuilt and it's a precision turbo so um i think i'm gonna have it rebuilt before putting it on because you you know i just don't know i i feel it's a peace of mind thing i guess so yeah what he gave me is i guess what would be half of a turbo kit he gave me the turbo itself the agretti blowout valve uh intercooler piping and the manifold um what i plan on doing I'm gonna let y'all know right now. Um, I'm gonna try and get the intercooler, obviously the injectors, the, the motor mounts. But what I really, really, really want to do, this is like, I, I, I drool over cars that have an up pipe through the hood, and that is really what I want to do. I found someone local here um, that will custom make one. I haven't asked them how much, but. I know I'm gonna do it because that's really really what I want so just uh, look forward to that guys I'm sorry I haven't made videos again I apologize but videos will be coming I'll be making them off on my off days from work so yeah just stay tuned comment I guess like my videos is what all the other youtubers say um, just let me know that y'all are interested I appreciate it very much thank you guys Bye.